In this video we're going to cover what it is to play the Deathblade, the playstyles you can expect and why you'd want to play this one over any of the other classes. Deathblades are an advanced class available to assassins that are more of a rogue than an assassin, as they're a highly mobile melee, damage dealing class that can do both consistent and burst damage. They are also unique as they're one of the few classes that utilises many charge based skills whilst keeping up at a fast pace. Their identity allows them to enter a powered up state where they gain extra speed, damage and reduce cooldowns before delivering a powerful strike with their identity ability, called Blade Surge. Depending on the build you choose, you can maintain those buffs indefinitely, or sacrifice that to go all in on your blade search. If you're looking for a class that looks badass whilst cutting through the battlefield, then Deathblade could be the one for you. There's only one other assassin next to the Deathblade in the game, which is the Shadowhunter. When comparing Deathblades versus the Shadowhunter, the biggest difference is that Shadowhunters turn into a demon form when they completely fill up their meter. This grants them a whole new identity skill set, whilst Deathblades buffs themselves up depending on how much meter they consume. Deathblade is also the one of the two that makes use of many charge based skills, whereas Shadowhunter mainly uses instacasts. This creates a completely different feel to play in the class as it's still incredibly fast paced and has even more mobility to get around and dodge attacks than the Shadowhunter. Just like any other classes, Deathblades have an identity meter that's called a Death Orb meter. There are a total of three Death Orbs in your meter that you can fill by landing your abilities on your enemies. Once all of those death orbs are filled you can enter arts mode which gives you huge buffs like attack and movement speed as well as more damage and cooldown reduction until that mode runs out. While in arts mode you can activate your identity again in order to use another ability which is called blade search. This is but a single hit that does a massive amount of damage but comes with the price of immediately ending your arts mode and all of its buffs. In PvE death blades are a class that revolves around landing their skills so they can generate their death orbs as quickly as possible and enter death trance. They are a high mobility class that utilises charge skills to deal massive amounts of damage over time with their remaining energy build or massive burst with their surge build. A lot of a Deathblade's gameplay is built around your identity mode and how you manage those death orbs when you activate them. In PvP, Deathblade is an aggressive melee class that uses its super armour, its high damage and crowd control and mobility to overwhelm its opponents. The insane mobility of this class also allows for a hit and run or all in kind of playstyle. Depending on the situation, once you engage as a Deathblade you can either choose to continue your combo when enemies don't have a chance to escape, or you can simply just dive in, deal good amounts of damage and then immediately disengage with one of your many mobility skills. However, it's important to be decisive with those engages and to keep an eye on your cooldowns before engaging. Because if you're too greedy and engage without the proper defensive skills to back yourself up, you're most likely to get punished. Moving on to the core abilities of a Deathblade. Starting off with Spin Cutter. This is simply a good utility skill as it will not only increase your party's back and front attacks but also it's your main mobility skill too. Dark Axel is another great mobility skill that can even pass through bosses. If you want to reposition to deal their extra damage from back attacks, this is the skill to use. Blitz Rush is one of your main damage sources outside of arse mode. It's a charging skill that also has decent stagger built into it. Soul Absorber is another great source of damage but also your main meter generator skill that will help you activate your class identity as quickly as possible. Speaking of meter generation, Void Strike is also a charging skill that you want to use as a main orb generator. And then you've also got Earth Cleaver. This is mainly your counter skill but it's also used often as a gap closer with decent stagger and damage. As with all classes, the Deathblade has access to two Awakening abilities. Flash Blink lets your Deathblade dash through your target, slashing through everything in her path to then deal damage after a short delay. This is a quick Awakening that generates a lot of orbs, while the dash through puts you in a perfect position for a back attack. Blade Assault is a charging Awakening skill with the perfect zone that viciously slashes your enemies in a flurry of attacks. As a holding skill, Blade Assault requires you to stay still for a long period of time, which can make this Awakening much harder to use than Flash Blink, even though Blade Assault does a lot more damage. For that reason, Flash Blink is your primary awakening for both remaining energy and Surge Deathblade builds. Every Lost Ark class has access to two engravings that will focus your playstyle in one particular direction. For the Deathblade, you're going to choose between remaining energy and Surge. Remaining energy is an engraving that allows you to keep your buff from Death Trance for 30 seconds after you use your identity for a second time, and activate your Blade Surge skill. This buff gives a bonus to attack speed, movement speed and attack power. Remaining energy is a build about consistent damage. The playstyle revolves around generating orbs to get your buff from arts mode and then using that buff to generate more orbs and then repeat the process. When you do choose this engraving you want to focus on the specialisation stat first to increase your overall damage and build up death orbs faster, then go for crit second. The surge class engraving changes the way that the death blade works, because if you run this engraving you can enter death trance even when only one death orb is filled up in your meter. Additionally you generate surge stacks when in death trance and when you activate your identity ability blade surge you will gain back orbs depending on how many stacks you generated during that death trance. That makes Surge a fun high risk high reward build that is very punishing if you miss or lose your flow. However, the damage is extremely high if you can manage to pull it off. Just like the remaining energy engraving you want to focus on specialisation first and on crit second. Remember to head on over to Mobilitics for all of your Lost Ark needs.